This is where my story starts, in this Lowe's parking lot. Now on the right side of the building is the entrance, and on the left, the exit. And what you'll notice right away is that all the cars in the parking lot are huddled right around the entrance. And each time I go to this store, I'm baffled, because I think, why do people do this? It makes far more sense to park closer to the exit, because that's when I want my car close by, when I'm walking to the store, carrying my stuff, or pushing my cart. But as you can see, this isn't what most of us do. So this got me thinking one day, why do we do this? Why do we take the gain of the short walk in for the pain of the long walk out? And where it led me was to short-termism. Now short-termism is defined as doing something that is beneficial in the short term, but suboptimal in the long term. And short-termism is everywhere. It's in this lowest parking lot. It explains why people struggle with dieting and it explains rising consumer debt. You want that nice new car today, but you have to pay for it over the next several years. Now, despite these problems, being a business student, what I really want to know is what happens when we start running entire companies like this, when managers suffer from short-termism? So, armed with this question and a background in finance, I turned to the financial markets to observe the causes of short-termism. What I saw were that short-term investors demand fast payoffs for managers, financial analysts rank companies based on their short-term performance outlook, and quarterly earnings benchmarks ensure companies perform on a month-to-month -month basis. Shifting from the causes to the consequences, I observed trade-offs to short-termism, most notably in terms of the environment and society. Sure enough, investments in things like renewable energy, community development, and employee training have serious upfront costs, but they take years to pay off. So, with these things in mind, what I hypothesized and what I've been finding in my research are that financial markets in the form of short-term investors, analysts, and earnings benchmarks increase managerial short-termism and in turn decrease a firm's sustainability performance. In other words, the pressures caused by financial markets make it more likely for managers to forego investments in sustainability simply because they take too long to pay off. So what does this mean? Well, if we want to move more towards sustainability in business and society, what we have to do is tackle short-termism by rewarding longer-term thinking. And we can do this by rewarding managers based on longer-term compensation windows, and by rewarding investors who hold shares for longer periods of time. Now, fortunately, a few companies are starting to take note, but we need to do more. In the eyes of Paul Pullman, the CEO of Unilever, the worst thing would be to do what is probably right for the long-term benefit of society, and being forced out of that, because you don't get the short-term results. This is where the biggest pressures are. There is no doubt about it. Thank you.